This guy says, I'm seeing a lot of bay boats swapping to dual 300s versus single 450s, saying performance is much better, but not sure how they measure performance. Now, back to that 26 yellow fin that I, that I went and looked at. It was, you know, 26-foot bay boat with mm-hmm. twin, I think the Mercury V6 is the 225s, mm-hmm. which are, those are some bad motors. I mean, right. great power to weight ratio and torquey little things, but... It's, just, it's I don't know, because I haven't experienced too many uh, bay boats to know the performance differences, but I remember the key, or not the key, the police boat from from the Keys mm-hmm. having the twin, I think it was the same boat, 26 Yellowfin, with the twin V8s, three, the 300s, and that yep. thing was a rocket ship. Yep. I mean, I don't know, having, I guess, double the torque. Because really, the the V eights are torquey. Mm-hmm. Having double the torque just pushes that thing so so quickly. It got up on plane like that. Because you start getting into arguments about power versus weight, and yeah, twin three hundreds is six hundred horse versus a single four fifty, and half the weight. You know, mm-hmm. you're only you're only you're at half the weight, and you're only missing out on one hundred fifty horse. So. What kind of performance are they talking about? I feel like top speed, you'll probably do better with the single 450. I mean, also the stress on the engine, it's kind of the old saying of no replacement for displacement. Mm-hmm. So if you got, you know, the single 450, you got eight cylinders, whereas twin 300s, you've got um, 16 cylinders. Right. So you've got a lot more power there. There's less individual load on the yeah. engines. Yeah. So it lasts longer. I it, mean, it's double the cost though. It is double the cost service. So that's a downside. Um, the but four fifties is also a supercharged engine. So, you less know, it's, reliable. it's making, I don't know about less reliable, but, um, I mean. it, it definitely, you're, you know, you're adding a supercharger to get that, that power over, um, you know, the naturally aspirated 300s. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's kind of not even really a, in much of an argument, basically because I guess what I'm trying to say is that you're, you've got two VAs with 16 cylinders compared to a single eight cylinder the same block i mean the 450's got the same cylinder bore as the v8 doesn't it i think it does i think they're both what five I think five sevens five I can't threes remember all the differences it's got the supercharger but i think the whole the valve train no i couldn't tell you the exact differences between the na's and the 450 yeah go ahead and google that up but I don't know. It's also better, I think, having the twins because if one of them breaks down, you know, you've still got that other engine to get you back. Whereas if you got a single, four point, it's a four point six liter. It's a four point six liter. Mm-hmm. What's the, what's the three hundred? Isn't it a four point six? Yeah. Yeah, they're both four sixes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's the same motor. It's just. Slap a supercharger and change a couple of components around, like maybe injectors. Mm-hmm. But again, you're you're trying to you know you're going from you know sixteen four point six liter cylinders to eight four point six liter with a supercharger. So yeah, it's only it is one hundred fifty horsepower more. Obviously, I think you worded that wrong. Sixteen four point six liter cylinders. Yeah, two V eights, sixteen cylinders. Right. But I'm sorry. The way you made it sound is like each oh. cylinder is 4.6 liters. <laughs> like that's a yeah, yeah. That's a honker right there. Dude. You got that motor on the back of your <laughs> going to the moon. Yeah, um, if it'll float. But you know, and then comparing the V8 to the to the L6 or the um, the V6. The V6 is a 3.4. So yeah, I was messed up because I was thinking about the V10 now, and the V10 I think is. A 5.3 in that, um, the, mm-hmm. what's the 600? 6.7? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it is a 6.7. Yeah, it's a, it's a 5.7 for the for the V10. What, you were thinking 5.3 for the Yamaha. Man, yeah, the Yamaha you're getting all mixed up around here, dude. There's too many engines, <laughs> dude. I can't keep them all straight, you know. The, and then the, what's the XTO? That's the five. XTO is a 5.7. No, 5.6. Five, 5.6. Six. Five, six. Oh, man. Too many different individual ones to remember. We'll see if you got that one right. Yeah. The five. yeah, the four twenty five is a five six. The old three fifties or five V eight were five threes. Mm-hmm. Two hundreds a two point eight. The one fifties a one point seven. Um Mercury V. L six is a two point six. The V eight's a four point three. The V four is a three point four. Four point three, didn't we just say it was four six? Hmm? The V eight Mercury? <laughs> too, many. too many. I think we're getting off topic though, because he's asking he's saying he's not, not sure how they measure performance. They say it's the yeah, performance it is, is much six. better. But how are they measuring performance when it comes to dual three hundreds versus a single four? I don't know how they're how they're doing the performance because to me, I mean, obviously the the twin three hundreds, if the if the budget allows for that, I would always go for those because that single four fifty, you're it, it's it's the same concept in my mind. It's the same concept of these big boats that load up the back of the engine at uh, the back of the boat with the L six Verado. You're talking about a 2.6 liter supercharged engine. Yeah, they make 350, 400 horsepower, but it's a small cylinder. Mm-hmm. Whereas these V8s and these V10s and these, you know, V12s and, and all that, you know, you're talking about a big cylinder. The displacement, you know, there's no replacement for displacement. So the bigger the displacement, the, the more load you're going to be able to push. Mm-hmm. So without the stress. So, you know, these big heavy... 28,000 pound 40 feet foot boat that you're pushing through the water with that those little cylinders with the supercharger so you can get that horsepower up it just doesn't work the same i mean you can do that in a car because a car doesn't weigh that much and you got you know these porsches and lamborghinis they got small cylinders because they're not moving a heavy load that's why you use diesels for weight you know you're you want that power to be able to move that weight Right. So, you know, if you if you supercharge the engine to get the horsepower, that's fine up until a certain weight. You know, once you get so heavy, you're just bogging that motor down because it, it's gonna produce all that horsepower, but it it's it's still working harder it's working to so, make that mm-hmm. horsepower. Well, it's, well, not that. It's working harder to move the weight. Right. It's trying to move more than it, you know, really should be. Whereas the two, you know, you add two 300s, that's a lot of power and displacement to push, you know, the 26-foot boat, which it's mm-hmm. going to be able to handle that weight. It's going to, there's right, going to be it. like there's no boat in front of it because it's just got so much power. I see what you mean. In terms of re- the reliability of the engines too, and mm-hmm. you know how how hard they're working, but you've also got double the weight. So how does that affect fuel consumption? Maybe performance. Well, at the same time, to go the same speed. So performance wise, if you're trying to go the same speed, let's say you're cruising at 35, 40 miles an hour, mm-hmm. um, that 450 is going to be running a lot more RPM. So you're going to be burning a lot more fuel i mean obviously two engines are going to burn more or what if they mean performance is just outright top speed are the twins going to be faster than a would, single with double the weight i would imagine i mean you're adding drag because you're adding another lower unit and another prop in the water but at the same time your your engine's producing a lot more you can you can prop it a lot differently mm-hmm. so you I'd imagine you get way more top speed out of those twins, even though, you know, the single is, is less drag. But yeah. So general consensus then is the twins, despite the cost being more, mm-hmm. is the better way to go for general performance, for all around 
Yeah, I'm going. Right. I'm going three hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't my it ain't my pocket. You know, it's not my budget. So it, yeah, you yeah. Know. Um, if yeah. I had the budget, I would do the three hundreds over the single four fifty. Mm-hmm. Now, if you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode over here, or you can watch another one over here.